Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you or discussing with you Shopify Track Your Order page tutorial for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do we add or use a Track Your Order page here? Well, what we need to do first is we need to basically add the actual page. So by the way, we will be integrating a code here, but you won't need to actually think about it because we'll be adding a link down below our description. So make sure to check that. We'll be adding the link for this code here. So just to give an idea here, we have two sections that we need to add. So first is going to be the email part of it. So in this case, we'll be replacing a specific email on our Shopify store, as well as a section or a uh, HTML section here, which in this case, we need to add uh, it ourselves. So in this case, let's go to our Shopify store here. And from here, let's go ahead and go to online store and you want to go to pages. Now, in this, in this case, what we need to do is we now need to add our page here. In this case, go ahead and click on add page at the top, right? And from here, you want to name this as tracking. So it doesn't actually mean much what you actually uh, do here, but the most important part is going to be the uh, template, which in this case, the default page, which is going to be the empty page for uh, any templates that you'll be using on your page. So, so in this case, make sure to use the default page here. In this case, what we need to do next is we now need to see our HTML. So it would show you your editor here. So in this case, this is now our HTML. Let's go to our code here and you want to copy this one. So copy the whole thing for starting from the div section here up until to the script section. Let's go and copy this. And from here, let's just paste it. Now in this case, uh, what we need to do next is we now need to view the, uh, or basically save this one first. Let's go ahead and save it first. But once it's actually saved, we should be able to start viewing it. So let's go ahead and click on view page. And this is what it's going to look like. Now, obviously if you want to do, or if you want to add design on it, you need to do some tweaks. But if you just want to bare minimum for now, uh, you could go ahead and just use this one. So in this case, once you've done that, let's go ahead and go back into our online store here. And we want to go to navigation. And we now need to add this into our main menu. Let's go and choose main menu here. And under main menu, let's go ahead and add our order. So in this case, go ahead and add a menu here. So just give an example, I'm going to delete this one. Let's go and click remove, click on add menu item. And let's just say this is going to be a tracking. And from here, let's go and click on search or paste link, which in this case, uh, as you can see, it is not present here. So what I'd like to do is uh, I want to actually save the actual link. So since we actually already opened up the page for this one, the actual view for it, we could go ahead and just copy the actual link. And from here, let's go ahead and go back and paste our link here. And from here, let's go ahead and choose this one. Uh, so that will be able to apply the link itself. Let's go ahead and click on add at the bottom right. As you can see, we now have tracking. Now, in this case, once we've done that, we are now ready to start adding the or editing the template itself. So in this case, at the bottom left, go and click on settings and make sure to save your changes first. Like let's go ahead and click on save menu first. Click on settings at the bottom left. And from here, let's go ahead and choose notifications. And under notification notifications, you want to click on the option for customer notifications and you want to open up the shipping a confirmation. In this case, go and click on edit code at the top right. Now, if this is the first time that you're accessing the confirm the edit uh, code section here, you might need to verify your email. So in this case, just click on verify email here and just click on the link that will be sent to your email address so that you'll be able to confirm your, e uh, your email address here. So in this case, all we need to do next is we need to copy the whole thing here. We want to delete it. So once you've deleted it, all we need to do next is we need to go back into our code here and you want to copy the whole thing. So uh, in this case, you want to copy starting from HTML here at the very bottom. I want to go to the very top and you want to copy this. So in this case, uh, to make things a lot easier for you, what I suggest you try doing here is first get the link again of the tracking page. So make sure to make the uh, uh, open this up anywhere on your browser. So that's going to be a lot easier to access. Let's go and click on copy here. 
and we want to go back in here and we want to paste our link here so in this case uh i would suggest you to again uh go ahead and make a uh, uh a link or a document that is uh in your uh desktop first but in this case since it is an on online document and we don't have the capabilities of editing this let's go and add go back in here paste it let's go and click on paste and from this case what we need is we need to look for the section that we'll need to replace so typically it's going to be this one so just see if we uh just to make it confirm it let's go and click on uh highlight this one and you want to copy control f find uh as you can see this is it let's go and copy our link here paste it and once we've pasted this let's go and click on paste and once you're done, I could go ahead and click on the uh, option here for preview. So you can see it's now good. So in this case, you can go ahead and click on send test email just to confirm things here. But once you've done that, let's go and click on save at the top right and go back. Now in this case, once we actually visit our stores, so let's go ahead and visit our store here. So by the way, any changes that you make on your Shopify store might take a while for them to actually reflect on your actual store. So in this case, uh, again, uh, you just need to wait for a few minutes or a few seconds for in order for them to apply. So in this case, in uh, our website, we now have home, catalog, contact, and tracking, which is the navigation that we just recently added. Let's go and click on it. And as you can see, we now have our tracking page. In this case, what you need to do is you just need to enter the tracking number in here. Just click on track, and you should be able to start tracking your order. Now, obviously, as you can see, it's quite basic here. Uh, if you want to add some design or some text on it, you could go ahead and go back into your pages and make sure to uh, open up tracking here and add whatever. So for example, if you want to add some text on it or um, if you want to add some images, if you want to, as you can see in this section, go ahead and click on add image. So for example, I want to add this one as an example we should be able to add it but yeah so in this case you can even reposition it in whatever way you want so let's just center a line here and yeah so let's go add a space here save and from here let's, once we actually go back in here we should now have the updated but then again some changes might not be are uh, visible immediately on your page so it might take some time to uh, load it up so let's just refresh it again and again until it actually appears uh, as you can see it is now or it now has some images on it but yeah so in this case those are the things you need to do here to add your tracking page for shopify and that's about it so if you found this video helpful hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video